Alrighty guys, my name is Tony, I'm with Prime Cells Inc. Today we're going to be going over the 2021 Toyota Mirai that runs on hydrogen. We're going to be going over some of the features of this car and we're also going to be showing you my honest first opinion of this car. Here as well we have a new redesigned taillights, kind of gives you that vibe of Knight Rider. This car also comes equipped with backup parking sensors so that you know when you're about to hit the wall. And inside we have not a lot, but we do have just enough room to get some stuff in there. All right, I take that back. We have enough space for somebody like me who's 220 pounds and 6'1", but uh, don't expect anybody else in here. In addition to the headlights being changed, the body style has also changed as well. It no longer looks like a Prius. It now looks like a quality luxury vehicle, being a little bit lower to the ground and a little bit wider in stance. So this is gonna be one big difference in the gas. So obviously this is gonna be hydrogen. It's gonna be a specialty pump and a specialty nozzle in order to fill it up. It only takes about three to five minutes though, and it's gonna be a lot less expensive than traditional gas. Sounds like to me that hydrogen is gonna be the next fuel type of the future, considering that it should emit clean H2O, something that you can technically drink from. Moving on to the inside, we start off with a keyless entry. You no longer need to take the key out of your pocket. Let's go ahead and go over the features inside the vehicle now. Already, we're gonna start off by going over some of the features on the dashboard. Alrighty, moving on to the center here, we have a traditional shifter just like a Prius. You press on the brake, left and hold to go onto neutral, left and up to go into reverse, and left and bottom to go to drive. You also have the option to go straight down to hit a lower gear. Alrighty, here on the radio itself, it is gonna come equipped with a JBL sound system so that you have quality audio. You have a lot of options to scroll through to monitor the battery, your settings, your climate control, which you also have a secondary option here, your heated seats, and then over here to the left, you are gonna have your option to select your radio, whether you want to do it from the radio, your Bluetooth connections, you can pick the source, and you're also able to adjust your audio. Right, moving on, we also have the options to put your vehicle into snow in case you're going up to the mountains, also for drive mode, which you can select between eco, normal, and sport. We also have two cup holders, and the most important part here is your cell phone charger. You're able to turn it on, place your cell phone down, at which point you no longer need cables to charge your phone. All right, so going over some of the features here, starting off with the steering wheel on the dashboard, you have your traditional everything. You have options to answer phone calls, change the radio station. Here, you're also able to change if you want to turn on or off the lane assist. You're also able to turn on your parking sensors, whether you want to rely on the sensors or whether you want to turn them completely off and show what a good driver you are. All right, guys, so in a couple words, we're going to describe the interior. We have this very nice leather seat material kind of makes it a little bit higher quality. There's a lot of black contrast, which is really nice compared to the red outside. So you have a lot of panels which are gloss black. Overall, it just looks like a very, very high quality build. All right guys, so like I mentioned earlier, this car is gonna have a very, very long front end, but inside you have limited space. So what I did is I adjusted the front seat to how I would drive being a 6'1 person. And if I get into the back seat, you will see that in fact, you do have limited amount of space. My knees are in the back seat. They're in there a good amount. Probably the front driver is going to feel it. And all in all, it's not going to be too much space back here. All right. In addition to the comfort features in the back seats, we also have two vents, one below the seat and one on the side to make sure your passengers stay cool. In addition, we also have a JBL speaker to ensure that they have just as good audio experience as you do in the front seat. So let's say that you're driving somebody who is going to be a little bit smaller. You do have options here for USB chargers for their cell phone. And in case they do want to get a little bit more comfortable, you have the option to put this down. And in case you didn't think we have it, yes, we do. Two additional cup holders for them. This car comes equipped with factory 19 inch wheels. Not only that, this design gives you more of that feeling that you're not buying a base model Toyota Camry. All right, wrapping it up, my general thoughts about the outside. I definitely think it's gonna be an improvement from the first generation. Although I also do think that they wasted a little bit of space. The front end is gonna be extremely long. Although it looks very nice, I do feel like it takes away from some of the space inside. Overall, I do gotta say it's a very good improvement. I love the color, I love the body. Overall, it is an amazing car. All right, now it's time for the test drive. So first thing we're gonna do is buckle up our seatbelt. Then we're gonna adjust our seat with the electronic controls, full function, forward, back, up, down, as well as the backrest. And most importantly, the steering wheel, which also has the same electronic function for going towards you, away from you, as well as up or down to make sure it fits you. With all that done, let's go.
So the handling itself is gonna be very bouncy and squishy. Of course, this is gonna be so that you have that comfort for every day. So what I went ahead and did is I put this car into sport mode because one question we all wanna know is how much power does it have? So, as you'd expect, not that much. We're fully accelerating and we have just now hit 60 miles an hour. So I would say that the Prius is gonna be a little bit quicker than this car, but this car is gonna be more efficient and cleaner than the Prius. So once again, we're gonna see the full acceleration here in sport mode and this is full throttle. Starts off strong, but hesitates to get to 60 miles an hour. All right, so overall first impressions of this car, it's a very comfortable car. It's what you would expect from a car that you would drive every day. The speed bumps, you don't really feel them too much. The road noise itself is relatively quiet. If you turn all the music down, you can still hear a little bit, but I mean, it's normal with every car. All in all, very comfortable, very quiet car. So overall opinions on this car, I think it's great. I think that there's a lot of great features in this car, but of course, like every other make and model, it is gonna have a couple of its downfalls. So, color's great, looks are great, it's definitely improved from the first generation. I think that the styling, I think that the looks, the material, all of it, it's fantastic. Now, like every other car, it does struggle on like being fast, but of course this is gonna be a fuel efficient vehicle, so we're not expecting to go fast. Um, another thing I'm disappointed in is gonna be the space in the back. You do lose a little bit of it. With a car this size, I expect it to fit four people comfortably, but that also seems to not be the case. Um, I do think that efficiency is great. I think that it's great for the environment. I do love the fact that we have heated seats, it has Bluetooth connection, lane assist, anything that you want to drive this car every day. Now, this being a 2021, I'm not sure if they come out with a third generation yet. If they do or they already have, I would love to see some of these features changed. But all in all, I do approve this vehicle. I do love it. I think it's at a great price. And I do think that this is gonna be the future. Of course, you guys already know that this car is gonna be available today at Prime Sales.